Hey guys, Pixel here with a quick little video. So, for the last year and a bit, I've been really getting into Polish Eurodance. It's truly a genre like no other. The genre is basically dominated by three men, Jacek Kruszewski, Krzysztof Trub and Rednaz. Like, 90% of the songs are made by them. Anyway, I've made my own little bootleg label, again a year and a bit ago, called Mind Studio, where I've been uploading all these songs because every single label that did Polish Eurodance has gone under. Some licenses have been bought out by a different label that still uploads some of these tracks, but not all of them. So my sort of vision was to try to get all these rare songs and save them and publish them to other people. And let the older people that lived through the 90s experience the music again. And let younger people listen to what is inc incredible music. Um, so yeah, with this fake label. I've also been making my own like CDs and cassettes. I've spent a lot of time making these cassette covers, making a consistent design language. It's been a lot of fun and I have a lot of these cassettes that I've made now. I almost wish I could sell them but no, that's illegal. I don't have the licenses. So yeah, anyway, I've been making my own CDs. Of course, printing a cassette label is easy. You just print it on a printer. Printing onto a CD? Well, not that easy. You couldn't do it with Lightscribe but who has a Lightscribe drive anymore? I have a Blu-ray drive in my PC, but not a Lightscribe one. So when my dad said that he wants a new printer, I was like, look, we're getting one that can print CDs. And here it is, here's my new Epson printer. The process of printing CDs is incredibly simple. The process of getting it right, however, <laughs> completely different matter. But anyway, what you do, you put the CD onto a little tray that's included inside one of the cassettes, cassette number two. Um, so you put that physically into the printer and you get a lot of resistance so you feel like you're breaking it every single time and you have to make sure that you go into a hidden setting to put the CD in otherwise it thinks that the printer's jammed and then it'll make you do a power cycle and then it'll be like why did you power cycle me and then it has to do a cleaning process. This is a brilliant printer by the way, I will get onto it more later. Um, anyway, but yeah, once you put the CD tray in and press installed, you just align your image into the Epson um, printing utility, hit print and there you go. Your CD comes out and you get your design onto it. Of course, this doesn't work with every CD. I'm using these Retech um, vinyl CDs. You may have seen these under the Verbatim brand, but of course, these already have the, the Verbatim logo printed onto them. These are blanks. And of course, you can also buy ones that are fully blank. This one, of course, has the vinyl design, which I think is a bit cooler. Yeah, anyway, in, in terms of this Epson printer, eh, it's not great. It's not that much better than my HP printer, in fact. My HP printer comes out with more vibrant colours, it's also less temperamental. The HP does have more differing, I've noticed that, but that's in the normal setting. If you put it onto best, the differing basically goes away and it does look very smooth gradient. And what I've also noticed is both of the printers have streaks. I've cleaned both those printers out, you know, in the in the menus you can do a clean cartridge um, option. So I did it on both printers before printing these test images and they're still not great to be honest with you. The scanning functionality is far better on the Epson and I'm really happy the fact that they can integrate OneDrive, I think that's really cool. Turns out the Wi-Fi issues that we had with the HP, which is why we got the Epson, also happened with the Epson, seems like it's a router issue where my computer doesn't see and I have to restart the computer and the printer, this is with both ASUS's that I have in the house. And the printer's got glossy plastic, which I don't like, and it feels incredibly cheap and flimsy. It feels like every time I touch it, I'm gonna break it. And the software feels straight out of 2005, and also the smart features, you have to register them, and the QR code that the printer printed out led you to an error for our file page. So you have to download a separate program to register it online, which I thought was a bit stupid. Anyway, so that's a bit of a nothing burger of a video, but I just want to give, uh, give you guys something in the meantime as I work on other videos. Um, and I just want to share my little passion that I've had again, and if you want to check out some Polish Euro dance, check out the Mind Studio channel. I've uploaded quite a lot of songs on there already, and of course I have so much more that I would like to upload in the future. So, thank you so much for watching, and up to see you in the next one.